Is ozone therapy the same as hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Is one therapy better than the other? Can they be used interchangeably? We will find out in this video. I'm Dr. Masha at Hyperbaric Living and on this channel you will find videos about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Let's look at ozone therapy first. Ozone is a gas. It's composed of three oxygen molecules and it's found in the upper levels of atmosphere. It's there to protect us from harmful UV radiation. Medical ozone is a mixture of ozone and oxygen. When it's inhaled, it's toxic. It's delivered to the body either intravenously, rectally, or topically for wound healing. There are many benefits to ozone therapy, but its main benefits are antimicrobial. It's really effective to fight viruses, bacteria, protozoa, and fungi, and anti-inflammatory. It's also used in wound healing and for pain management. Ozone therapy stimulates mitochondria and makes energy production more efficient because it delivers oxygen that's being used by mitochondria to produce energy. In many ways, ozone therapy benefits are similar to hyperbaric oxygen therapy benefits. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy uses pressure to deliver oxygen to cells and tissues, and therapy is administered inside a hyperbaric chamber. Benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy are due to combination of pressure benefits and oxygen benefits. In ozone therapy, we only see oxygen benefits. Main benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, as you probably know from my previous videos are new blood vessel formation, it's highly anti-inflammatory, it stimulates regeneration and repair, so it's used a lot in neurological disease. It improves insulin sensitivity, so it's used for metabolic disease and for weight loss. One of the effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy that is not an effect of ozone therapy is stem cell mobilization, which allows us to make new cells. It allows us repair and regeneration. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can be used as an anti-infectious agent, but it's not as powerful to kill microbes as ozone therapy. It also stimulates mitochondrial function, again, because it delivers oxygen to mitochondria, and it also has a hormetic effect when mitochondria become stronger and they become greater in size and quantity. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy and ozone therapy can be used completely Complementary. One therapy would be more appropriate for some indications such as a neurological disease or FDA approved indications such as carbon monoxide poisoning or decompression sickness, where ozone therapy would be more appropriate in other indications such as an infection or pain from arthritis or maybe wound healing, although hyperbaric is also really effective for wound healing. These therapies can be used complementary. To determine which therapy would work better in your particular case, I recommend that you see a practitioner who would do a full health assessment and determine which therapy is more appropriate for your health concerns. If you'd like to book a consultation with me, you can follow a link in the description below. I hope you now have a better understanding about the differences between ozone therapy and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Please give this video a like so more people can find this information. And if you really like this information, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos about hyperbaric oxygen therapy every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.